Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Young Physicist Tournament YouTube channel. My name is Jim. Today we'll be doing a demonstration of IYPT 2019 problem number 17, Popsicle Chain Reaction. This video is a part of a series of videos in which we will explore the IYPT 2019 problems. If you want to learn about how to do all of the other problems, please hit the subscribe button down below. First, we need a bunch of popsicle sticks. I have chosen the larger type that is used for arts and crafts because this will make it easier for us to assemble the actual chain. It's also good to have a ruler and a few highlighters or markers. We could use these to make some marks on the popsicle sticks so that even when the popsicle sticks are rotating, we could still easily track it in a video analysis software. I bought my popsicle sticks in a local dollar store. The quality of it is not so great. So first, we must check that all of the popsicle sticks are straight. If the popsicle sticks are not straight, they might cause some unexpected problems when they are placed in a chain. Now that we have sorted through all of them, now it's time to make some marks. The popsicle sticks have two ends and two sides, so I used four colors to label each one of them. I also used the black marker to label the center of mass position of the popsicle stick so that afterwards if we want to track it, we could very easily find its velocity by just tracking the center mark. As you can see, all of our popsicle sticks are now marked. Now we're ready to begin the assembly of our chain. To start the chain, first we need to take one stick and place it at a horizontal position. Then we take a second stick and place one of its ends on top of the first stick while having the two sticks at an angle. Then we take a third stick and slide one of its ends under the first horizontal stick and leave the rest of the stick on top of the second stick. If you did everything right, you should see a triangle appearing in front of you. The way that we place the fourth stick is by sliding one of its ends underneath the first horizontal stick while leaving the rest of it on top of the third stick. And the fourth stick should be parallel to the second stick. The fifth stick has to be parallel to the third stick and the sixth stick should be parallel to the fourth stick and so on. The way to add more sticks is by adding one to the left then adding one to the right. When adding a stick, the new stick should always be perpendicular to two of the sticks that are already placed in the chain. The end of the new stick has to slide under one of the previously placed sticks and the rest of it will be on top of another previously placed stick. This method of making the chain is called the cobra weave and this is what the problem statement had told us to do. Now that you finish your chain, I suggest using a small clamp to clamp the end that you just finished. This will ensure that the chain stays in place and it will not become active until you release the clamp. As you're making the chain, you probably realize that every stick deforms by a small amount and this stores a lot of energy within the chain. This is why when you let go of one end of the chain, the chain immediately falls apart and all of the sticks starts to fly away from the chain. The energy that is stored in the deformation of every single stick is getting released and this is the reason why we see a wavefront traveling through the entire chain. As always, please enjoy the slow motion videos.